Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So today I pulled the uh, 10 plus 1 ticket from the end of the month and I got a rainbow and it will be for my first Super Trust Master, uh, which will be for Zargabath. This is my fourth drop of him. And then um, I was not expecting, of course, to uh, pull another of him. I was hoping, but I wasn't expecting it. And then I was actually expecting the uh, my first Super Trust Masters to come from the next batch of seven stars. Uh, but this was a real nice surprise. So let's go ahead with this here. All right, I wonder what the screen is gonna look like. Pretty cool. Same as the uh, the regular Trustmaster, but yeah. All right, and let's have a look at the thing. Uh, this is going to be a super versatile uh, super Trustmaster. I think I can find a place for it on pretty much every team that I put together. Uh, but HP, defense, and spirit all up by 30%, and then all um, elemental resistances up by 20%. Um, this is like uh, heavy armor arts, uh, like heavy chimera, um, what is the other one? Patriotic recall, uh, thirst for survival, which I actually don't have, so that's awesome. And then, um, th throw that on top of their melody of life, um, the 20% resistance to all elements. So very, very cool. Very happy to have this. Um, I'm mainly going to use it on my tanks, I think, um, just because that defense and spirit and HP is all very nice. And then the, um, the magic tanks in particular will like that elemental resistance. And then, um, yeah, as the game progresses from here, uh, the elemental resistance to multiple elements is going to get more and more important. Um, and then, uh, like, Awaken Rain, his uh, super trust master, also has a lot of elemental resistances. And so I've seen a few uh, JP players, you know, use select tickets um, just to get that, just for the elemental resistances. So yeah, very happy to have this. And then um, I thought that this would not make enough of a video. Um, so I also recorded um, Zargabath going solo uh, through the medium difficulty level uh, Halloween boss. Um, I tried him also in the uh, nightmare difficulty level, and he did fine until uh, I got the boss to about 40% life, and then the boss would start healing himself every turn. And then Zargabath, he's not a good damage dealer. Um, I couldn't, um, you know, do more damage to him than he was healing every turn. Um, so it was a stalemate, and I just had to quit there. Um, but we can look at the, uh, the median difficulty here. And then um, I was inspired to do this because there are lots of uh, videos by JP players of uh, Seven Star Noctis um, doing uh, solo runs of a lot of bosses. Um, so I thought it would be fun to take the uh, global exclusive Zargabath and then try to do something similar. Uh, he's got a lot of the ingredients that you need uh, for a solo uh, runner. Uh, one is Evade. He's got 40% uh, innate in him. And then I can give him some equipment and get him up to 100. And then that just leaves his uh, magic uh, defense that he needs to worry about. Um, of course, you can uh, help that with like spirit or uh, elemental resistances for uh, whatever is coming. And then, um, you know, you can give him more stuff for his uh, like status immunities. And then give him slayers as well for the enemy. Um, just so that he can get a little bit more damage out of there. Um, but yeah, as we can see, um, avoiding all of the physical attacks, and then uh, the magic attacks, they don't seem so bad either. That might be due to, uh, like, elemental resistance stuff that I have. Uh, one advantage that Zargabath has over Noctis is his ability to give himself re-raise. Um, he has that from the Rejuvenate skill, um, especially if you um, enhance that. So whereas Noctis can do much more damage, um, Zargabath can arguably stay alive better. And uh, here, there's the, uh, the countdown, that uh, one uh, that's there above Zargabath. Um, that will, you know, instantly 
uh, automatically KO him. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, but you got the uh, re-raise, so he can come back up. And uh, that's the uh, the last time that that attack comes. Um, so yeah, it'll just be about uh, counter-attacking and uh, doing his Octo Slash. And uh, maybe just doing Rejuvenate once in a while to get the HP back. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's fast forward through the rest of this fight. We'll uh, cut to the end. Okay, turn 32. Uh, boss has 3% uh, HP left. And we'll do the Vengeance Blade. Oh, not quite enough there. Maybe the uh, counterattacks will get him. All right. <laughs> okay, so that was my first uh, Super Trust Master uh, from Zargabath. Very happy about that. And then uh, my first uh, solo clear with him. Uh, maybe when more limited time bosses come around, I'll try him in there as well. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.